So we have a bunch of spheres floating in space. And the only places that we have depth are where they overlap. Now, if I wanted to create a greater sense of depth, what I could do is come in and put something that weaves in between different spheres. So like right now, I don't know which one of these are closer. Okay. It could be any one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint something that goes in between them. And I think I'm going to go with like straight lines, squares, or rectangles, or stripes, or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of drawing it out. And I'm going to decide which one of these is close and which one is far. Use the edge of my brush to tidy these up. Now, another thing you could do also is use masking tape to uh, line these out and get perfectly straight edges and then fill in. I'm going to have to go touch up that sphere a little bit because I painted it over. Just the addition of these flat shapes now creates a much bigger sense of separation. And in my eyes, it makes it a little bit more interesting instead of just a bunch of floating spheres, which can seem a little boring to some. Hard to imagine, huh? Are we supposed to be doing this like now while we're doing this? No, I just wanted to show you. And now you can kind of choose what you want to do with this. Do you want to do something similar with just like a flat geometric shape? You know, triangles, squares, circles, whatever, stripes that go all the way across. Um, different colors, you know, bright greens, dull purples, whatever you want to do. Okay? What are your questions? Now, if I wanted to paint something lighter, I would probably have to paint the shape white first and then come back and paint over it, okay? So if I wanted to have a bright yellow line that went this way, I'm gonna paint it white first and then come back and paint yellow on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna turn you loose. Can you explain what we're doing again for that one here? Yes, right now we're just adding, if you're completely done with the finishing process, you're just gonna add some very flat shapes to the background that go 
in between the different forms. Just to kind of give it an extra sense of depth. Okay.